We feel unprotected. We feel unsafe. We don't want to go onto campus anymore. Survivors of sexual assault on the Bishop's University campus in Sherbrooke, Quebec, about 165 kilometers east of Montreal, are speaking out against the school, accusing them of not taking reports of these acts seriously. A student coming forward about the inaction from the university, City News agreed to keep their identity confidential as they fear for their safety. A whole group of women and I were drugged in 2018 during a Halloween party on campus at the campus pub. I went to report it to security where they asked me what I was wearing that night, and that has no relevance to the actual case. And then they proceeded to not do anything about it. I gave names, they did nothing about it. They didn't ask any questions to anybody, nothing. It's been three years and I've heard nothing back. Those last words riddled on a bridge on campus where in the last week, students have been using cement barriers as a space to share their stories and be heard by the university. One reads, he raped me, I reported, he's still in my class, be you, take action. Similar stories being echoed on a Bishop's Confessions Instagram page. One post says, got raped and I'm a guy, wasn't believed, was offered meditation for anger management, but no survivor support. Another, I had a drink roofied at happy hour by a classmate. When I finally processed what had happened and came forward, they told me too much time had passed to take action. It had only been a few weeks. To go, you know, relive your traumatic experience and have to tell someone about it, it's extremely difficult. And the fact that nothing was being done just made me so upset and so frustrated. Bishop's University student Jaden Stockhill launched a petition demanding the school reform its policies and had close to 9,000 signatures by Wednesday morning. You can get expelled so quickly for plagiarizing, you know, your academic integrity. If you, if you breach academic integrity, you get expelled from the school. But then whenever you're t someone takes advantage of someone else, oh, now there's this gray area, which is... Um, frustrating and we encourage students to come forward um, with these concerns to either us or we've uh, we've launched an independent investigation into these important messages so this will be investigated from someone not from BU an independent uh, investigator who will look into this to make sure that um, that nothing is missed the Dean of Student Affairs saying they recognize it's a difficult time for survivors on campus it's very important that we hear those stories and I tell them that we investigate every single formal complaint we get and when we have a disclosure or an informal complaint, we stand with the survivor. After holding a town hall on these issues Tuesday night, university officials say they've already begun reviewing their policies. And those changes were student-driven and they're going to the board in December. Um, but I'm hearing from the students that they want uh, another review, so we're going to start that right away. We need them to take our voices seriously, sit down and ask us what we think should be in the policy. Part of their demands? Immediate disciplinary action against perpetrators. They say it's a survivor-centered response, but a survivor-centered response also includes protecting a survivor from their abuser. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.